have a question in the audience, Steve. Steve, I keep hooking up with guys who don't want a relationship. Why don't you stop hooking up? Uh, did you hear that? Listen, men respect women who have standards. Just get some. Oh, it's a Why the 90-day rule makes sense. However, act like a lady, think like a man. Steve Harvey. Welcome to Manage Your Highlights Daily. The movie, Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man, came out in 2012 based on the best-selling book, Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man by Steve Harvey. This movie here proves why men are the prize. And in this video, we're diving into the 90-day rule and why it makes sense. However, it doesn't have much merit in modern Western society. Shout out to the Patreon gang, salute! The original video is gonna be on Patreon because we have to respect the YouTube guidelines. That's why you will get a censored and filtered YouTube friendly version. So if you like what we do and you want to experience our content to the fullest extent, support us on Patreon. This video contains a lot of spoilers, so you've been warned. Now it's time for us to dive into this and do what we have to do. Because we men and we. We men and we. See, when I worked at Ford Motor Company, that was a 90-day probation rule. I had to be on the job for 90 days before they gave me a benefit package. Ford figured this. Let's see how he performs. If he comes in on time, if he proves himself, then we'll give him benefits. So a Ford Motor Company waits 90 days to pass out their benefit package. Why won't women wait? First off, here at Manosphere Highlights Daily, we are going to keep it red pill. The red pill is the truth. So we have to give credit where credit is due. When you read Steve Harvey's book, it makes a lot of sense. Just like this 90 day rule, it makes sense, especially when you understand business. This book is literally a playbook for women. However, you might know the play, but that doesn't make you a good player. In this video, we're gonna highlight why this 90 day rule doesn't work for most women in modern Western society. Let's roll. <laughs> Look, babe, I got us two double shot lattes. Thanks, baby. Come here. I figured we need some caffeine after last night. It was amazing. This is Maya's introduction in the movie. Chris Brown laying in her bed after he hit it. <laughs> what they want you to see is that Maya is dating these immature assholes that don't want to commit. Now, from a Red Bull perspective, you see Chris Brown, one of the top 10, top 20% guys that have no problems getting with women like Maya. And to take it a step further, Maya belongs to the streets. Some more proof in this movie. Is the last guy that you slept with in less than 90 days. You mean hey, John? Hey, baby. What's up, girl? Hey, I had a great time the other night. Oh, did you, Alex? Yeah, man, I was going to call you. No. It's Maya, yeah. Negro. I'm, I gotta go, so I'll call you. I hey, know you hey. did not just call her hey. Melody. Chris Brown walks off with not one, but two other ladies. <laughs> Wait 90 days. Yes, I spent six months dreaming about a guy that I met once at a wedding weekend. The one you had sex with at the beach. Yes, who never called. Yeah, so I definitely think I could do 90 days. Matter of fact, I could do 90 days before 90 days. You see, Maya and her friend have been ran through by Chats and Tyrones, but they want to make it seem like it's all men's fault. Some more proof. Before 90 days. I'm so sick and tired of men. Maybe I should start dating women. Oh my God, I'll give you 50 bucks if you guys kiss, but there has to be time. Boy, get out of here. Oh, what is wrong with the men of this generation? What is wrong with the men of this generation? No, what is wrong with you? This video is gonna show you exactly what their problem is. And to give Steve Harvey credit, he does mention in his book that giving up the cookie too quickly is on the woman because the woman decides who gets to hit it. Now let's get into why this 90 day rule doesn't work for most women in modern Western society. I feel like I have extra. This is the problem right here. They call it the player versus the 90 day rule girl. <laughs> this is gold, man. Why do you want to date a player? We saw Chris Brown at the beginning of the video, not your average Joe. We saw Chris Brown walking off with two women. Most men cannot do that. 
Let's take it a step further. Stay focused. <laughs> Ask myself that same question every day. What have I happened to respect for women? What have I happened to decorum? May I have the honor of buying you two lovely ladies a drink? Absolutely, and thank you for asking. Why? We would like, is it that you crave um, scintillating conversation? Or that you want to discuss the politics and nuances of the Chetney and War? Uh, you know, I don't really discuss politics on the first And neither do we. This oh, no, 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 I know what it is. There is. It's, it's um, the visual thing, right? You saw me, you sexualized me, you wanted to get into my pants. Absolutely not. Yeah, but then what is it? Because, you know, you don't know me. I could be a psycho. I could be a serial killer. I could have 16 personalities. Let me get a crown and coke. That's a coke. And 16 or whatever she's having. <laughs> my name is Zeke. <laughs> Maya. Nice to meet you, Maya. Day one. 89 more to go. Maya's defensive mechanism kicks in. And this is where that men are intimidated foolishness comes in. Like I've said before in many videos, a man is never intimidated by a woman. If you are intimidated by a woman, you are not a man. You are a boy. You need to go play with Pokemon and shit. That doesn't mean that you have to deal with her attitude. However, a player knows how to dismantle this lousy bark but no bite defensive mechanism of Maya. Why? Why? Because this man is battle tested. The moment you crack the code, women are not complex creatures. Female nature is universal. Generally speaking, they all want the same things. Tinder? Yeah, Tinder. What are you doing on Tinder? Finding some really cute and attractive guy. I met this guy online. We had our first date at a wine bar. Okay. I really liked him. Tall, dark, handsome, totally my type. Um, you know, he was pretty well put together, good looking, six foot one, which I like tall guys. Um, and he, yeah, he seemed like he, he was like he had a job and the guy i am attracted to is like tall mm, sort of muscly he can be like fat but like big you know i like big and muscles and um has a good smile and sparkly eyes and like knows how to laugh and stuff i mean i'm a person who cannot have sex with everyone you should impress me or if you're going to be a bug boy please be hot as hell so i can at least show you to my girlfriends please i'm begging you <laughs> how much proof do you need it's the same guys that these women are attracted to and it doesn't really change with age look at the video of the 40 year old Still looking for Chad, but tries to make him a husband. And that's my next point. Check this out. Tree visions like man goggles. You know, we spend all this time complaining about how guys don't want to be in relationships, they just want to hook up, but really all along we've had the power. Right. We have? Yes. We control the cookie. She who controls the cookie controls the game. <laughs> okay, I got it. I'm telling you, the power is in the cookie. So how do we control the cookie? By putting it in the cookie jar, mm -hmm. clasping the lid on tight, and leaving it in there. Okay. Until some little boy actually grows up and earns it. So now you want to put the cookie back in the cookie jar for a man that has become the cookie monster. Not your average Joe, but the player, the Chad, Tyrone, Enrique. You want to put the cookie in the cookie jar for the man that has cookies as part of his daily diet. The foolishness. Remember our ex-unicorn that was trying to hold out until she was married? confident in saying no because I knew I wasn't ready and I knew that's not what I wanted out of you know a relationship at that point like I wanted to be in a relationship before I started having sex like that was my mindset going into college sophomore year I quickly realized that you know what if I wait to have a boyfriend to have sex I'm never gonna have sex and that's something that I didn't want. <laughs> I was, you know, starting to feel like I was ready, that I just wanted to get it over with, to be honest. Hookup culture is so prevalent in college. It truly did feel like everyone was just having sex. And that's my next point. Peer pressure and hookup culture. If the majority of women are giving up the punani, a bunch of women using the 90 day rule on Chad and Tyrone is not going to be effective. Steve mentions something interesting in his book. He talks about payment. Let's read. Hugging is payment. Kissing 
is payment. You getting dressed up is payment. Going out with us, payment. Exchanging explicit emails is payment. But if he wants to sleep with you, make babies and have a family, those are benefits. So he's got 90 days on the job to prove himself worthy. 90 days in which you can figure this man out. And that's the problem when you deal with the top 10, top 20% of guys. These guys are getting paid and they do not need to put a ring on a woman's finger to get the quote unquote benefits. Remember the video of the 40 year old? Steve was like a bit of a fail in my books. Like I'm sure he'll be wonderful for, for another lady out there, but no, didn't, didn't tick my boxes. She thinks that she's paying her date, Steve, by showing up. Steve has no problem with having sex with Gabby, but he does not want to wife her up because he has many, 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 many options. Make sure you watch the full breakdown of that video. Once again, Steve Harvey put some interesting tips in his book to help women out. And like I've said before, this book is literally a playbook for women and that's why it's written to please women. No, sorry, I just felt like a different woman. I felt so in control and strong. Understanding the play doesn't make you a good player. Most women are boring. They suck at having a good conversation. At the end of the day, you want good company. And a lot of women just show up and expect you to do everything to entertain them. Showing up is not payment for the player, for Chad and Tyrone. And unfortunately, most women are attracted to these guys. They purchase this book because they want to lock down the men at the top. The men that most women want. You see, that's our problem, is that we keep giving it away to some Axe body spray wearing manhole who thinks my name is Melanie. But it doesn't matter because a girl's got needs. Listen to yourself. Do you really think you can wait 90 days? Manosphere, we working. Patreon supporters, salute! This video has officially been highlighted!